Hello, welcome to the EHR billing and payment module integration. Here, I would like to discuss about the overall integration of the billing and payment module. What are the basic and most required configuration and how the billing and payment module works in our solution with this detailed introduction. Okay, so here I am logging with the admin user and you can see here we have added one billing manager navigation we'll talk about it in later <clears throat> here you can see <clears throat> under facilities we have added the required fields like the location id and the care claim service id these are the most required fields while talking to the medicare online services via our middleware which is the care claim service see the location id is varies based on the <coughs> clinical clinic location here is the same one okay and here we have added one default bank account which is required while we are doing the patient claiming as we need to pass the bank account details okay and now go to the <coughs> user settings under user we have also added some required fields like medical provider number, prescriber number, is there any ABN number or not for the particular doctor. And make sure you have added the valid entry here, otherwise claim will be rejected. Yeah. The another thing is we have also added the check for the patient verification. So I am opening the patient demographic view. Yeah, here you can see we have added the Medicare number, the IRN number, and the one button verify patient. When you click on this, it actually talks to the our care claim service, which actually talk to the Medicare online it says patient is already verified would you like to re-verify or not I am currently not verifying it so let's cancel it so our patient is basically verified with the Medicare services so the data whatever we have entered like the Medicare number birth date and the patient first name and last name is all valid okay now <coughs> let's see how our billing workflow actually works for that first of all i would like to log in with the joshua r which is <coughs> physician in our system so let's create one encounter and add some mba service codes So yeah, as you can see, physician cannot see the billing manager navigation. So here, what we are doing, we are just selecting patient. And then would like to add an encounter. Yeah, this is established patient and would like to continue. And one another thing here I would like to specify like we have added the workflow state for the encounter. Initially when we create the encounter it is in active state and then here we have one button which is check out. Okay, so here we have two state on hold and sign. On hold that means let's say <coughs> doctor given instruction to the patient uh, like uh, can you please <clears throat> check the, uh, can you please go for the lab test and at that time doctor wants to put hold this encounter so they can click here and if doctor are done with the overall process the, so they can close the encounter at their end 
so currently encounter is in open or you can say the active state now these are the basic things like we can add soft notes and everything i'm not going to add anything here but i would like to give the <coughs> detailed instruction about the mbs code so here we have added the mbs medical benefit schedule code so here <coughs> user can select the medical number based on the number or based on description here when you double click on it here you can see currently we are having the service type is schedule one we can also configure private one also and these fees and discount values are coming from the medicare <coughs> data what we got from the uh, australian medicare okay so you cannot edit this because these are the fix they have specified but yeah if doctor want to uh, get some want to add some additional fees they can definitely add it here let's say 20 dollar they would like to specify any service note they can add here service note and uh, this is the time and date and the, is there any emergency or not and let's say i would like to update it and here i would like to add one more thing like uh, let's say I would like to add this and here I would like to specify some another dollar like uh, charge is another $20 and I'm going to update it so basically the time what here we have added 15 and this should actually match but currently for the demo purpose I am just uh, closing this encounter right now so now doctor is done with his procedure so what doctor can do doctor can <coughs> close this encounter at their end so they simply needs to provide the password again and now the encounter is go to the ready for billing state so here you can see the status field which says this encounter currently is in billing state and yeah one more thing once we added the encounter in billing state then user cannot update the MBS item okay so doctor is done with his procedures now would like to log in with the biller user so in our system you are she's filler in our system so i'm going to log in with eva and as i said previously administrator and biller can only see the billing manager navigation menu so here you can see this yeah so under billing man manager we are having some <coughs> different menus like billing payment i will explain each of functionality first let's discuss about the billing menu so under billing here we can filter the render encounter by setting the some <coughs> criteria so by default it is going to take the last day and today's encounter detail so yeah so here you can see we are having one encounter which which is in ready for billing state okay the patient name and who have rendered this encounter the encounter provider name okay when i double click on it okay we can see here the render mbs items okay so from this mbs item either patient directly want to pay or they would like to claim it to medicare via us okay and here make sure when we are going to submit this to the medicare make sure patient is verified with the medicare otherwise we cannot submit it so here what we what we would like to do we would like to create the vouchers voucher or you can say the invoices for the same let's say patient said i would like to pay this 2196 item payment by check so here what we can do we are going to collect payment from patient so we can create the voucher okay 
so here we have created one voucher which is called payment voucher and another item there is something we would like to submit to the medicare so here user can select medicare what type of claim you would like to currently we have only integrated the bulk bill so here we have only one single option okay and if patient inpatient or not if it if patient is kind of <coughs> admitted in hospital then inpatient will be true otherwise leave it as is okay make sure <coughs> medicare verifies yes okay so i would like to create your claim voucher so now the claim voucher is created currently that is confirmed so currently i have to manually cancel it now i search again there should be no result okay so now we have created the vouchers okay so we have created two vouchers one is a payment voucher and another is a claim voucher okay so patient would like to pay for the payment voucher so we can visit the payment tab here we can filter all the payment voucher okay this vouchers payment we can directly get from the uh, patient so here it will load the payment voucher and you can also set some filter criteria and yeah currently we haven't integrated the insurance thing but we have just put it here but it's not currently in use so now we have created one payment voucher okay so this is the basic detail about the payment like uh, patient name the encounter provider name amount and the service items if multiple then it should be in comma separated form now this is the invoice number generated okay and there isn't any referral okay and i would like to collect payment for this from the patient okay they would like to collect by the uh, check payment okay let's say the check number is something like this one okay here i would like to provide any additional note or mm, collected okay so check collected and i would like to save it okay once we save the vouchers payment collected successfully and this goes in our payment transaction so this is done for this payment voucher only now we'll talk about the claim voucher okay for the claim voucher <clears throat> here in medicare online currently there is one box so i would like to refresh it again as the input fields are overlapping so under medicare online what we can do here here we can filter the claim voucher by setting some criteria like the provider name service provider name let's say this is a service provider name and the it it will display the service provider number the claim type what claim type you would like to submit to the medicare let's say bulk bill under which facility so render like my primary clinic okay and when we say search this is going to display the claim voucher which we would like to submit to the medicare here you can see some more fields like uh, exception level inpatient resubmitted or not okay i would like to give you brief introduction about the exception level in our system currently in our system we we are having two exception level okay exception level one is kind of <clears throat> before submitting to the medicare basically we have created the service layer which actually first try to submit the claim to the test environment if the all data are proper basically because we are not doing current uh, data validation at our end fully so what we would like to do is we would like to submit it in the test environment and if test environment pass everything then and only then we are accepting the claim okay and if it was rejected any case like the service provider number is wrong or patient medicare provider number is wrong then it goes in a exception level 1 exception level 1 that means we can filter the 
exception level one claiming voucher and under custom message you can see the detailed exception message why it was rejected and based on that we can correct it and resubmit it so this is for the resubmission okay and another one is a exception level two which is the exception like <clears throat> once we submitted to the medicare and medicare rejected any service at their end okay so we would like to submit the service again by correcting the required uh, parameter as per that suggestion so this goes in a exception level 2 this something we would like to solve in a processing report we'll talk about it later on okay so this is the <clears throat> first screen where we are going to submit the claim voucher the medicare okay and yeah in bulk billing we have selected bulk bill and as per the bulk bill rule we can submit the 18 claim voucher in a one single transaction so currently we are only having one so it's good now so i'm going to submit it and yeah so this is going to submit to the medicare what basically it does it talk to our care claim service which we have implemented <clears throat> and uh, submit claim to the test environment everything looks good it accept and pass it to the medicare online so claim is submitted successfully now under processing report okay we here we can filter the claim <coughs> what we have sent to the medicare online okay based on the service provider number the from date and start date we can specify and we can get the processing report detail processing report basically <clears throat> gives us the detailed explanation about our individual claim like uh, how many services claim having and uh, if the service is rejected or it's approved if it is rejected then what was the reason and everything goes in a processing report and final one is a payment report which actually says uh, from <clears throat> x amount you are only getting this y amount whatever the uh, approved from the medicare online so here we can see we have submitted two reports but if we click on this it will try to get the processing report and as we know under test environment once we submit claim to the medicare we have to manually send an email to for the for the approval process so that's why currently processing report is not available i would like to show you my local box currently we are on the ehr au which is the live one for us okay and the another one is a payment report okay under payment report whatever the the payment we collected either from patient or either from a uh, medicare online here we can print the claim related <coughs> details uh, it's loading yeah so let's say we have collected a payment for patient voucher and i would like to provide the claim print the patient so i click on it and it actually load the print yeah here you can see the location id the required things patient detail and service provider detail this provider number the service code item number is 6 that's it and another one is a claim print on my local box so i would like to show you the processing report so yeah it's loading you can see the 
claim text print So this is the overall workflow of the billing and payment system in our case. Okay. Uh, let me show you the processing report. Okay. So we are having one. Processing report is available. Let's say true. Okay, so yeah, you can see <coughs> previously we have uh, <coughs> submitted one claim and uh, ask Medicare team to approve it. So they have approved it. So when I double click on, basically you cannot double click on. We have to single click a processing report. Okay, and here left side it will give us the list of patient name that means the claim voucher and under claim voucher we are having the services okay like uh, 54 and 31412 this all these two mba service comes under single voucher and is it rejected or not that's something from the medicare side now we would like to approve it why we have to approve it because let's say the service is uh, completely approved from the Medicare and we have got the amount from the Medicare okay so we would like to add for our transaction purpose in our system so we can calculate the overall billing and billing related <coughs> things final summation for that purpose so here we can approve it or we can resubmit it if we say resubmit then it goes to the Medicare claim again where we would like to update it so let, let's say this is approved this both are approved and resubmitted currently service is actually approved there is not allowing but once we <coughs> get the processing report from medicare and okay then here we can see what are the services rejected from their end and what are the services approved from their end if it is approved and we are uh, and we would like to add for transaction in our system we simply say approve the number of services here we can multi select multiple one but currently there is a bug in our system so you cannot select multiple one but yeah we would like to add multiple services for the transaction purpose we can approve it and if you would like to resubmit it then we can <coughs> click on resubmit service okay and when we say payment report it will give us the detail about the payment report like total charges for the claim is 1969 we'll get the amount and uh, under which account account name and everything okay the deposit amount and everything yeah and when we resubmit the service for the Re uh, resubmission this goes under here under the medicare online and here we can again filter and the entry submitted currently it's not in but yeah here we can resubmit it again okay here once the service is rendered in this grid this is the button ready for resubmission we can resubmit it but make sure you have updated it Okay, here we are allowing the update, but currently there is no item in our grid, that's why it is saying nothing to display. But yes, we can correct and resubmit it again. Okay, and one more thing here I would like to add for the Medicare is yeah, the patient claiming that is something is pending for our end. We will uh, we will like to integrate patient claiming as well, but currently we have only integrated the bulk billing. Yeah, so. Thank you.